Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Vintage Collection Commander Wolf. Um, it's a really nice figure, so let's get into his accessories first. So he has the DC-15, I think they're 15 pistols. He has some pretty nice detailing. All molded in black though, as you can see. Pretty nice. Sadly, however, he does not like to hold them. His hands are just way wider than the actual pistols themselves. But it does come with two of them, and luckily they do stay in his holsters. And then he comes with a removable helmet that looks really nice. It's got some great detailing on it. Colors look nice. Um, the rangefinder is articulated, and if you really want to, it does pop out. But yeah, it's pretty nice. However, it is a little hard to uh, get back in, so I don't recommend taking it out. But yeah, it's really nice. You can see the wolf logo all the way around. Mind the visor is a little chipped here in the corners. Not sure if that's for me or if that's just how it came. But yeah. And then the actual figure, the face, the head sculpt is really great. As you can see, well, not really because it won't focus. But it looks just like him. He's got the scar. It does look really good. His eyes. Really nice looking figure. But um, his body does look a little thick. But it also helps make it look like there's actually a person in there. Uh, he's got, uh, I'm pretty sure, like a, just a ball joint at the head. Ball joint at the shoulders, however, the um, shoulder pads are really hinders articulation, so you can only go about that far. Um, got really good elbows, a little bit of back, a whole lot of forward. However, if you look on mine, if you turn the elbows too much, it does chip the paint a little, which does suck. And then it's got um, hinges at the wrists, both wrists, both up and down. And then only a swivel at the waist, swivel at the legs, and then the camera kind of hinders it. Ball joint at the knees, and ball joint at the ankles, but they don't, they move up a lot. However, down is not so much. It's only about as far as you can go down. Still, it's a real nice figure. Would definitely uh, recommend it. Looks way better with the rangefinder in. However, I cannot get that in for some reason. There we go. Okay. Yeah, he's really nice. Um. Not the easiest to pose and sticks with the camera. However, it is real nice. Wish he could hold his blasters better. That's really my main complaint, is he doesn't hold his blasters too well. Otherwise, really great figure and I would recommend. Thank you.